Hey goddesses, we've just been to Uluwatu Temple, which is actually where they shot some of Eat, Pray, Love. So it made me think about love, specifically self-love, which is something that I teach a lot about. And a lot of people ask me, how do I reach self-love? And if I've learned anything along my journey, it's that self-love isn't something that you just reach. It isn't a destination. It's actually a great adventure and it's a practice. So I wanna share with you today how I practice it and also how I teach it as well, because I think it's kind of different, but it works. So I think of self-love as a great relationship with yourself and actually the most important relationship that you'll ever be in, in your life. It's the only relationship that you're in literally from the start all the way to the end. And it's what all of your other relationships are based upon. So it's pretty freaking important. So when we talk about relationships, what do you think constitutes a good, healthy relationship with another person? You want trust, you want communication, openness, authenticity, support, acceptance, quality time, fun. All these things constitute a good relationship with someone else, right? But all these things also make up a good relationship for you to have with yourself, which is the most important relationship after all. So we're gonna dive into three of these just today. So the first one is quality time. Quality time is important for all relationships. You've got to have good quality time with each other. But it's also really important that you take quality time for the relationship with yourself. How much time are you spending just by yourself? That's when you really get to know yourself on a deeper level. That's when you really get to know who you really are, what you like, what you're about, how you feel. That's when you really reflect on things when you're alone. And for me, I used to have very low amount of self-love and I used to hate spending time by myself in my own company but I got into a habit of practicing. I would go out by myself to cafes, to restaurants, to the park, just being with myself and it got easier and easier and now it's something that I absolutely adore. So quality time. The second thing is acceptance. If you love someone, if you're in a relationship with someone, you accept them for them. You accept them as they are and you expect them to accept you as you are. You're not always trying to change them or mold them into something that they're not. That's important in a relationship. It's also super important in the relationship you have with yourself. If you wanna amp up your self-love, you gotta to start to accept yourself, girl. Accept your arms, your nose, your accent, your funny laugh, all those little quirks and flaws you've got to love them because you're not just one in a million, you're one in eight billion. There's literally no one like you. And you wouldn't try and change the person you're with. You wouldn't try and compare them to everyone else in the room. So don't do it to yourself. Accept all of you because you're pretty unique. And the third thing is respect. We all need respect in a, in a good relationship. We want that person to respect us and we respect them. The way that we speak to them, the way that we respond to them is respectful if we love them. So if you want to love yourself more, ask yourself, am I respecting myself in the words that I speak to myself? Like, would I say what I say to myself to someone that I love? How do you speak to yourself? Is it, you're too fat, you're not good enough, nobody likes you? Can you imagine ever saying that to someone that you love? So don't say it to yourself. Think about how you show up in your relationships. And then think about how you show up in the relationship you have with yourself. This is how you're gonna amp up your self-love to the max. So to recap those three, we have quality time, acceptance, and respect. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you're on Facebook, I would love if you would share this. Let me know in the comments what you think and I will reply to you. Mwah. See you soon.